let's reverse things up a little bit. Quick backstory. Pretty much my, uh, my whole young adult life, I was a martial artist. And uh, I studied a lot of different styles. I, my original instructor was Chuck Norris. A lot of my life had to do with fighting. But the majority of fighting that really existed was up here in my head. All kinds of confrontations that I, I uh, uh, kind of went through in my, in my mind. You know what I'm talking about. But because I thought about that stuff all the time, I attracted that kind of stuff. So I went through all kinds of things that, that I didn't necessarily need to go through. I did martial arts tournaments. I learned how to, uh, to, to use weapons, to all, all kinds of things. I got my black belt when I was in my 20s or something like that. Now, the reason that you take martial arts is different from the reason that you stay. You stay because it becomes kind of this fun thing, this camaraderie that you, you do with people, and it's fun and a lot of different things. But the reason that you get into martial arts isn't for the same reason. And the reason that I got in is because when I was young, I had red hair, I had freckles, I had basically a target pasted on my chest, and I was always getting beat up. I was small, uh, I just was that kind of person in a uh, in high school that, especially with a name like mine, uh, that, you know, that people just felt the need to pick on. Now, it wasn't their fault because I was walking around nervous through school all the time worrying when, when the next thing was going to be coming at me. And because I did that, I got in heavily into martial arts and I learned all kinds of really cool things. And I, you know, it's one of those things when you're, when you're really young, you want to buy all the stuff that's illegal to buy that you, you know, you just want to collect everything from shuriken stars to nunchucks. And, and I got really good at all that stuff. Cut to Kathy and I met and I taught her martial arts. She taught me how to surf. This is going back 19... 90 or so. I was still into it then and, and Kathy got her black belt and we did our whole life was enveloped around martial arts along with the design work and everything else that we were doing. We even got Sean into it. And then one day everything switched. It was like I didn't feel the need to have to protect myself or be confrontational. I just wanted to give love. I just wanted to for, for things to be cool. I, I just wanted to have a good time and enjoy my life and not worry about the next thing that was going to come at me. So I took all my gear, I took all my uniforms, I took all my weapons, and I got rid of everything. Since then, I haven't attracted this stuff at all. And I suddenly come to the realization that what you think about most, you bring into your life. So that led me to the idea that I just want to bring coolness into my life. Coolness from you guys, with the cars, with everything else, anything I can get my hands on. I have about 16 hours in the day to be able to aggregate the best cool stuff I can think of. But I held on to one thing. I held on to one weapon that I just didn't want to throw away because it was just so expensive when I bought it. But I never found a use for it. And that weapon was this. This is a knife, it's a not a normal positive thing. But I'm gonna turn this thing into a positive thing because I've never used it. I've had it for about 20 years and it's just sat in my drawer for, for all those years. But now, I found a use for it. I'm gonna use this on the block as my official box opener. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna use because I have boxes today. And I'm super stoked anytime a box shows up because it's just like Christmas every day. So the more boxes I can bring, the more I can use my tool. This is literally the first thing I've ever opened with this thing. Wheels and Waves, card number five. Yeah, check it out. There's people clamoring to get their hands on these cards. It's gonna be time to rock and roll very soon. Box number two. My favorite, right there. This is Sarkeesian coffee. Not any coffee. This, this, this is chocolate macadamia nut. Now I know what you're saying. Oh, I've had coffee. I, I know what coffee's like and I know it's really good. I haven't had this. You can get this in stores. You can order it online at sarkeesian.com. This is seriously awesome coffee. They have all different kinds of flavors. You gotta check it out. Plus, they have some special coffees that are coming up, which I think he's sending me a bag. So I'll wait to be able to reveal that. It might show up tomorrow or the next day. Thank you guys at Sarkeesian. I love your coffee. You guys are awesome. Okay, it's already three o'clock in the afternoon. We've kind of piddled around a little bit. Uh, we stayed out really late last night. We got up late, uh, got the vlog out late. But what we decided to do, because Susie's in town, is to take her into downtown LA tonight for dinner to a very unique place. So I get a good rest so we can go. Back in 
the Kia, about to go and pick up Kathy, Bob, and Susie. We were gonna go in downtown LA, but there was a huge accident once again on PCH, and instead we're gonna go to the Malibu Cafe out in Canaan. Beautiful place, been there before. Gonna have an awesome time. What's up, Susie? Remnants of we won't talk about what we did in this party last night. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm not steering well though. Where are those guys? They're still getting on their boat. Thanks for watching.